Today I fucked up by accidentally texting my husband. This was not actually today, but it was recently enough that I thought I'd share. My husband, my cat and I are chilling and suddenly my husband farts. Large. Seemingly as a reaction, with perfect timing and a traumatized facial response. My cat gets up and ditches. I start cracking up and immediately text my sister ha 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 ha. Husband name, farted and, cat name, left. Dot. But it turns out I accidentally texted my husband instead of my sister about himself farting. He opens the text and shows it to me. I am utterly confused for a moment about how he has this text. Then it registers that I texted him making fun of him and I start cracking up even harder. My pregnant self not slightly, but completely loses bladder control. Now, every time I make fun of my husband, he says are you gonna text me about it? Or, alternatively, are you gonna pee about it? Too long didn't read, I meant to text my sister making fun of my husband but mistakenly texted my husband making fun of my husband. I followed up by providing further fodder for his comebacks. Edit, awards. Wow, thanks, everyone. I love these kinds of stories, the kind where being super gross is also super funny. Two months after my husband and I first met, we went camping. While we were camping he farted. It was loud and wet and we heard someone camp near us laugh. So we started to laugh uncontrollably. Turns out he had diarrhea and laughed so hard he shit his pants which in turn made me laugh so hard I pissed mine. Still one of my favorite memories. Edit, thanks for those little symbols above my comment. Don't know what to do with them, only wanted to share a funny and I'm just glad everyone liked it. That is an amazing story. I also like that a strange laughed at the fart. That's my kind of stranger. First thank you for posting here and it not being a sex things. Secondly congrats on a healthy relationship. And that is pretty funny thank you. Is your cat a Kato? I think he took it pretty well, although I sympathize knowing he can smell way better than I can. My favorite part of this is that you censored the cat's name. Just think of all the other cats that could be reading this. I was thinking okay, you sent your hubby an innocent text by mistake, not really a few but then you pissed your pants and completely redeemed yourself. Today I fucked up by inspecting an empty hotel room. This just happened tonight and I hope to never have to face the consequences. I work the night shift in a hotel. This basically means I'm a glorified housekeeper who occasionally has to check in some people. Earlier this evening I checked in a couple. Nothing out of the ordinary, it's a slow night. The couple settles into their room while I continue mopping the restaurant. About an hour later this couple comes back down to the reception asking if I could help them with their ego. Being the helpful guy I am, and because it's my job, I follow them to their room only to find the electronic panel that should control the echo being broken. No worries, we still have plenty free rooms now due to the intervention of some unknown virus. So I check my paperwork and spot that room number 43 is still vacant. I ask the couple to get everything out of their room and wait at the reception, while I would check if the echo in that room is functioning properly. I leave them to it and make my way to room 34. I open the door with my key card and, when I hastily stepped into the room, was quite surprised to find the lights were already on. That surprise very quickly turned to horror as I realized there was already a couple in the room. In full view. Wicked. Pounding. Yes I went to room 34 instead of 43. I couldn't see the lady's face because it was around the corner of a wall, but I could see the dude's face, and he wasn't happy. It took me a few seconds to get my composure. At which point the dude, a from what I could tell a Danish guy in his late twenties, asked do you mind? In a clearly shocked tone, still interlocked in his better half. I kind of fumbled a sorry in an equally shocked voice before coming up with the quickest lie I could think of. I said I was asked to check this room because of a noise complaint, and apologized again. In fact, halfway through the last sentence I was already back on the hallway, making my way to room 43 with the reddest face imaginable. The couple I was relocating even asked if I was feeling ill. Right now I'm sitting at the reception praying to everything, unholy I won't run into the Danish couple before my shift ends, and that my manager never finds out. TLDR, had to check a room I thought was empty, but I went to the wrong room and interrupted a passionate pounding session. 
working hotel night shift right now. This is why you always knock before entering a room even when it's supposed to be empty. Kinda like the gun is always loaded rule. Also could have been worse. You could have given the new guests keys to 43 instead of 34 and had two very angry couples come down. Management will probably have to give half off or comp their room but you'll probably just get a warning to double check what you're doing. Or two very happy couples not come out lol. Non update, I'm at home. Didn't see the Danish couple again so I hope I take this secret to the grave. And this is what that mechanical latch on the inside of your door is for. Tell them you were just testing the locks. That and the chain lock. Take it with a grain of salt. Should have said. I'm the cameraman you guys hired. Today I fucked up by trying to be a fun dad and breaking my 5 year old daughter's ankle. Let me start by saying they happened last night around 6.48pm and I still feel awful and have just made a $125 get a well better package purchase to be shipped here so she can sit in her cast and be entertained slash feel better. Even though she is super excited she can just sit around and watch TV all day. Take a lot of pride in being a hands on, do activities, play around. Fun dad. Well, when my 5 year old and 2 year old wanted to go outside and jump on the trampoline after dinner I was all about it. I love the trampoline. We have a nice sturdy one which can hold up to about 800 pounds I think. I weigh about 240 pounds and I am still able to jump and flip and do whatever. Anyways, one of my daughter's favorite games is to just jump in circles around the edge and chase each other. Every now and then I will stop and throw a kink in the works, or I will give her a light pop to boost her a little higher than she is used to jumping. This time I decided to pop her and she flung pretty high up, she landed fine we had a good laugh and kept jumping. We took a brief break and began jumping again, I asked her if she wanted to pop up high again she said enthusiastically yes, so I took it upon myself to really go for the launch, you know kinda like trying to send her into orbit, she would love it. I timed the jump, I put about 85% force into it. And next thing I know that doesn't pop up but instead crumples to the trampoline and immediately starts crying. This was not a cry I had heard before so I knew something was wrong. I laid down with her as she tried to catch her breath. At this point, my wife and two-year-old had come over from the playground to check on us. All my five-year-old kept saying was that she wanted to go inside that she broke her foot. In an odd twist I started to laugh because I had never heard her say this before and my wife just kind of looked at me like what is wrong with you, why are you laughing? I had no idea but it soon helped my 5 year old laugh cry which made me feel better, right up until I looked down and saw her left ankle was twice the size of her right ankle. We got her off the trampoline and onto the couch and decided that she needed to go to urgent care. I stayed home with the 2 year old and my wife took my 5 year old. Obviously I was worried and knew something was not right with her foot slash ankle and was just trying to focus on my 2 year old and have fun with her. Waiting on my wife's call about what was wrong felt like it took forever, so when my phone finally rang I answered right away and this is where the night took a very humorous turn. My wife called not with news about my 5 year old's ankle, but instead with news that our daughter had just told the entire waiting area that her mom had coronavirus but she is better now. What? Ha ha ha, my wife has never had corona and we do not know anyone who has had it, she has allergies and we said we are glad she did not have it corona but never that she has had it. So she must have heard us wrong, but she said the entire waiting room was like WTF? So after a little laugh, we hung up and I went back to waiting. The next call came with the news of the break and the severe sprain. When they returned home with the sky blue cast all I wanted to do was hug her and tell her how sorry I was and all she wanted to do was tell me how excited she was that the drive told her that she is going to have to just sit on the couch and watch TV. She also assured me it was not my fault and we were just having fun and that she cannot wait to heal so we can jump on the trampoline again soon. Needless to say, after she went to I cried for a minute then drank a handful of beers with my wife as we reflected on how amazing our daughters are and how I am no longer allowed to pop someone one quarter my body size and weight on a trampoline. Too long didn't read, I am a fun dad but tried to launch my daughter to the moon on a trampoline and instead broke and severely sprained her ankle. She still loves me. 
This is how my husband broke his ankle. He was trying to pop the kids up on the trampoline and he is the one that landed wrong. Rolling eyes face. What is the care package? Four new frozen plush dolls. You know because we had to get her little sister too also, her words not mine. And an Elsa dress from Frozen 2 she has wanted so when she gets out of the cast she can run around in it like Elsa does. You're incredible and your girls are lucky to have you. Woke up to a gold award, thank you very much, that's so sweet. Thank you. Def try to make the most of my time with them. Just not as aggressive on the pops moving forward. Bumps and bruises are part of growing up. I can promise you every injury I had was worth it, and I wouldn't trade my broken bones for not having my dad. What I'm saying is, I'm sure when she tells the story later in her life, it won't start with my broken ankle was. But instead it will start with my dad and I. Great point. Thanks for those words. Your daughter telling the whole ER her mom had corona but was feeling better is 1000% something I would have pulled at that age. NTA, you sound like a great dad.